Hey ho neighbors, Radio Goji here, and welcome to what's going to be, I don't even care how long it goes, the final part of Squeeze World Percent Sonic Adventure, and after clearing out the story for all six of the other characters, we have opened up the seventh and final uh, chapter, Super Sonic, which is a, a apparently Super Sonic has the ability to turn into uh, giant punctuation marks. Mm. I don't know what that was. It was a grunt of some kind. But finally, the story will stop repeating and we'll just be able to move forward on from the end of Sonic's story. Big has crashed the plane here. Oh yeah, there was a Chaos Emerald in the plane. I forgot, the red one. Um, Angel Island's coming down again for reasons that aren't exactly um, explained. I think they may explain them. I'm really not, I, don't, I don't know if they just go out and say why Angel Island is just all of a sudden, just like after five minutes, crashes again. Robotnik is, Ooh, I hate that Sonic. <laughs> is pissed off about the whole thing, as you can see. Oh, it seems to get in my way. Oh, it seems to get in my way. I never can spoil my master plan. So I guess there's chaos again. Chaos! Yep. The Master Emerald is where it belongs. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're right, a lot of the plot doesn't make any sense. Maybe. Maybe. Those Chaos Emeralds that I brought back with me. Oh, he actually did pick those up. Have something to do with what's happening. Maybe it's because you don't have all seven. I'll take them to Sonic for his advice. Because <laughs> as we all know, Sonic is, has his PhD in Chaos Emeralds or something. Eggman. This is terrible. C chaos is is water. Is what? It's right over there. Okay. This is a long ass cutscene by the way, just a heads up. I now I, I I know I already mentioned that it was, but still. Yes, Eggman learned his lesson. Yep. Yep. And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. Sonic! What now, Tails? Hey there, Tails! Did you find the tornado too? Never mind that. Get up and follow me. Angel Island is falling again. It already hey, fell. No way. Who blew it this time? <laughs> well, I don't know, but we better hurry! Yeah. Alright, we have control again. Okay, so we just gotta quickly go to Angel Island. I don't even see what... The, the, the walking around at this point is is literally pointless. There are no other stages we're going through. It's literally just some cutscenes and um, the final boss. So I don't know why I couldn't have just done like some other cutscenes and just kind of you know plopped us where we need to go. But no, we actually have to walk. It's not, oh, the, the bridge is back. That, that was nice of the bridge to come back, so we could get over here. Right, where are Knuckles and Eggman? They're over here. Oh, they're over here. Sonic. Uh, sorry. Uh, Knuckles sorry. and Eggman. What happened here? He yeah, stole my Chaos that. Emeralds. And Chaos... Is still alive. What? Ah, he's not gonna get away with this. <laughs> hey, Eggman, wait up. So this is gonna be like a running Sonic. theme um, for chaos pretty much every beast. single um, if he gets that last chaos Sonic emerald, game from here on out. No need to explain. We'll get on it. Um, Tails? Right. What? 
Oh god. This this oh, is still geez. a thing. This place. It looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. No, it's stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a, a running theme from like for Sonic games from here on out. He's basically Dr. Eggman is going to come up with some some basically take over the world scheme involving some giant godlike nom nom monster, and he does pretty well until like the very end when the nom nom monster turns against him and goes hey, off on its own to destroy way. the world or whatever. No way. Um, Did you hear what I said? I and then you turn to the supersonic and uh, destroy it. Power. It's power for the people. And they are your people too, you know. We must get that emerald. <laughs> Greed is our enemy. Once it starts, you will always want more. It's like Pringles. Please don't do this. I beg you. Bah! I don't listen to the words of a child. <laughs> Ready, men? Charge! Um, okay. Fire! Oh no, the character we didn't care about. We got trampled. Oh no, not the not the chows, no. Oh dear. And then Chaos gets mad and kills them. Gotcha. That's why there's that's why the their civilization is in ruins now, because they got they turned bad, then Chaos was like, Alright, I'm gonna kill all of you, and then he did and wiped out their oh, town. It's a monster! And that's why we got to stop him because some folks hundreds of years ago fucked up. Hey, are you all right? <sighs> Again, the so. run up to the cutscene was completely pointless. Oh my gosh! No, no, no! Yes, it's still on fire. We can see that. Wait up! God damn it! Do, do we have to walk up here now? When we could have done so the in the cutscene? Yes. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. Shut up. The controller serves to unify the chaos. <gasps> oh. oh. Well, the seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. I don't care. If this emerald controls that power. Please, you must stop him. Other Sonic games are so much better at telling stories than this one. I mean, Sonic, well, maybe it's up. growing pains for the 3D Sonic games. I don't know. Uh, uh, I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. This is the 90s. Good thing you're okay. You just sort of conked out there. Knuckles left already. <laughs> okay. Come, we gotta go after the last emerald. Uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado too. We know exactly where that is, even though we don't. It's a big... I mean, we know it's a big house, but... Um... Oh. No! Well... Oh, that's actually kind of handy. Fair enough, I'll take that. We the still even have the same number of lives that we had at the end of the, uh, the Sonic playthrough anyway, so... That's also handy. Let's go to Big's house. Oops. So we have to... Take the trolley there, of course. Oh, we don't actually Look, have to walk there? It's a tornado too. Yeah, so let's get the Chaos Emerald and leave. What? Oh, he left the no, plane though. He's got the last emerald. Now what do we do? Um, I don't know, but the cutscene will probably take us where we need to go. Oh, this looks very ci opening cinematic-y. That's like the, um... <laughs> I 
So the, the, the water is going to go out of control. It, it kind of reminds me of the uh, that scene in Ghostbusters 2 where like the slime starts taking over and stuff. <laughs> That's peculiar. Luckily the manholes didn't hit anybody. Not so luckily that. Toilets overflowing or something? I mean, I can understand the tsunami, but still. <laughs> Water coming out of the, the buildings. So this is Station Square now. It's just flooded and full of waterfalls and such. So basically because um, Chaos was able to get the last... Emerald. Um, he is now not Chaos 7, but he's called Perfect Chaos now, and he's basically a giant water Godzilla. And he's gonna destroy Station Square, you know, like Eggman wanted him to do in the first place. If I wasn't just dreaming, that monster is a real menace. He doesn't look as good as he does outside of that other cutscene. Eggman. I thought that was broken. Looks like he's after chaos too. If egg carrier two was made because something like this could happen. Oh, it's an egg carrier two. Of course it is. Stupid beast. Now he must be destroyed at all costs. It sounds like he's shooting lasers at him, but doesn't show them. It's like kind of like the opposite of what happened before, where stuff was happening but didn't play any sound effects. Now sound effects are playing, but no visual effects. Also, the egg carrier too. You. Kind of sucks. It's, it's dead already. This is, he's got a flappy mouth. Ah! Looks like Team Eggman's back. I've had back enough. Back again. Who Sorry. Who do you think you are, anyway? Oh, hi, Tico. It's you. The one who sealed chaos in the Master Emerald. Tico. Yes. We don't need more of this. Just... My heart has always been in the Master Emerald, along with Chaos's. Not sure now why. It's filled with anger and sadness. <laughs> and if it goes on... <laughs> yeah, it looks sad a lot. destroy the world like he did before. Flappy mouth, flappy mouth. Let's go let's go to the boss battle now. Look! He's absorbed the Emerald's power! He must be sealed in the Master Emerald now! Well, we don't exactly have the Master Emerald how can right that here. Help? It won't change how he feels inside, will it? His heart will still remain in turmoil, and his anger just won't vanish. Which is exactly why fighting him is the answer. Forever. What choice do we have? And Big's here for no reason. Hey, Sonic! Amy! Yep, there's the red bird, so that's Gamma, here, so all of the, this. um... <laughs> take this used-up emerald! So hey guys, all, of, what's up? all of our, um, playable Damn, characters so are all gathered the negative here. Power of the emeralds. Oh, there's negative power, of course there is. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. Their as charcoal as power, admit, apparently. I think Tails is right about this. Go, Sonic! Yeah, Sonic! 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 <laughs> Negative forces aren't the only way to empower the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> toward each other to make them work. Our hearts together form <laughs> awesome power. Oh, that wasn't forced at all. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, we're supersonic, I guess. That's the thing that happened. Let's just, uh... Let's move on so we can get the SBC supersonic. Can we fight the monster, please? 
Alright, here we go. And Crush 40 is going to be playing the entire time, and it's awesome. So, much like other um, Sonic the Hedgehog games where you're supersonic, um, you have to keep collecting rings in order to live. Um, if you Your ring counter will go down steadily. If you're on our rings, you lose a life. And we basically just have to be going fast enough when we run into chaos, so that way we'll just like, run up and hit his brain. I don't remember if there's a way to... Yes, there's a way to boost, I think. That's jumping. Usually in games like... Um, you know, there's usually a way to boost when you're supersonic in a lot of other games. I don't think there is one here, though. I'm just going to reform elsewhere. <laughs> rings. Need those rings. As long as you don't get hit by anything, um, you should have enough speed to hit him. Now, there is a second phase of this, right? Or am I thinking Sonic Adventures? No, yeah, here it is. I know Sonic Generations is what I was, that was, uh, what I was thinking. But yeah, there is another phase to this, I suppose. And I'm missing all of the rings. That's a great... And I'm getting hit. Getting hit is bad in this, because um, getting hit slows you down and makes it so you can't do damage. Because I can't go fast enough up his neck hole or whatever. Luckily, though, if I die, I'll end up at this phase again, I believe. I could be wrong, but... Um, Whatever. I just needed some of those rings again. That's important for me to live. I think he's just a lot more aggressive with, like, these fireballs now. And lasers. How do I speed up, though? Is it just hitting the boost pad speeds you up? There's no... Boost button? There's, like, always a boost button. I'm, I'm confused. Now let's, let's see if we can go back. And get, oh, and, and, and he's got water spouts. Yeah, jump over the boost pads. That's what we want to do. That's exactly what we want. Exactly this. Should be going fast enough. Yeah, there we go. Alright, one down, two to go. We only have 20 rings left. That's not good. That's especially not good when we keep getting hit by shit. Stop, please. Stop, please. Will you? Will you please? I'm in an endless loop. I can't do anything. No. When you reach maximum speed, I have to start the entire battle running. over again. That's your chance to attack chaos. Okay. All right. Start the start the battle over. We can start the battle over. Why not? This part doesn't take too long. Just the second phase is, appears to be the pain in the ass. I'm just gonna keep going until we beat him. I don't have a timer going, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're already over time at this point. Are you freaking kidding me with this? Stop undermining my bad attitude.
I think the problem is that, you know, obviously in this phase we have the awesome music playing, and that's helping me. It's helping me be more badass. And then when the second phase starts, then the not awesome music plays. And, you know, the badass wears off. Because now it's time to get serious, and I'm going to shoot just, like, guaranteed hits at you. And also you don't have Crush 40 backing you up. And that's terrible. And you run into walls. Seriously, once you get hit, you're done. There's no way you can get around it now. There's no way you can you can make up for that. Is that... Oh, did I boost? Did, did, did square button boost? And I didn't realize it? Because that would be extremely helpful if that's actually a thing. I'd like that to be a thing, please. It said you know what's a thing? This this stupid. Okay, buttons don't do anything. I don't... Uh, are, are buttons doing anything or not? Look, make up your mind, please, game. I'd like for you to do that for me. Just yeah, yeah, as a favor. I'm sure, like, all these, all these nice folks want to see the end of the game and get on with their lives. Am I going fast enough? Of course I'm not. And I have five rings left and I'm going to die. Yeah, I said that I liked this boss battle before. I don't remember what I was thinking. I, th I think I was just thinking the first phase and that was it. Because the first phase is the awesome part. This is, this is the uh, part that's not so much. This is the part that's infuriatingly bad. Excuse me. God, I need to find a way to farm rings or something. Unless I can make it all the way on this... and hit him on this one stretch and not run out of rings. There's some rings here, actually. And they run out very quickly, I just noticed. Please. Stop hitting the wall! Stop hitting the wall! I'm having the best time, you guys. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be the guy who, you know, this is one of my favorite games, and, you know, I don't have as much nostalgia going through for it as much as, as any other people, because I didn't play this game when I was a kid with my Dreamcast I didn't have. You know, I played this much later on, and it was fun. And this part is fun. This part with the cool music is fun. The part with the later music is not as fun. And I don't want to be here all night. Because I'm already... Probably at a like, half hour now at this point. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I, it's probably an exaggeration. Or I don't really have a timer on, so I can't really tell. Like the, like, the second phase is the exact same thing as the first phase, except he has a lot more fireballs. So, that's like the only thing is that he has more fireballs, he shoots them at you more, far more often, and they, and they actually hit you. Because they make a beeline toward you, and then you have no rings. Because you wasted them all. Hitting walls and shit. Alright, I think I got him this first hit at the very least. Yes! Okay. 
Okay, I've noticed that there are only like two straightaways leading up to him. I just gotta make sure I collect rings on each pass somehow. Hit those things. Don't hit those! <sighs> I hit the wall. Oh! It counted! Well, okay then. I'm not gonna lift a, look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just going to steamroll him here. Damn it, you fucking kidding me. Right, I'm just gonna go up to him. Hopefully I have the speed. No, I don't. But it's a lot better than it is a lot better doing it this way than just, you know, trying to double back for rings and speed. Because you're just gonna waste more rings trying to get more rings, and that's counterproductive. Do something, please! Alright, good. I've got speed. I've got speed. I've got speed. Yes, go this way. I'll take it. <laughs> I win. That was a lot more infuriating than I remember. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. <laughs> no, you won't. He's dead. Yes, yeah, surely this quelled the anger and sadness that Chaos had against the world, killing him. Oh no, he's fine. Oh, and there's Chows out of nowhere? We could have just thrown Chow's in his face the whole time and it would have saved us all this trouble. Chaos has changed again. This time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it. So it's nice again. Sure. These are the Chow you were protecting. They stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. <laughs> Even though I haven't seen any of this entire game. The fighting's over, harmony's restored, and life goes on. <laughs> life goes on. I guess that's, uh, that's one way of putting it. Thank you so much. Me? Oh, Sonic. So is anyone else seeing this, or is it just me? Well, I don't know what was in those chili dogs. Well, fuck it. <laughs> I'm out. All's well that ends well, right? I guess. Sonic. It, it, the, the the city is still dis destroyed. Oh, okay. Guess that's not a big deal. There's still water coming out of your buildings. Okay, so that is the end of Sonic Adventure and one more go through of 
Crush 40s open your heart. Um, I do wish that my friends would have been able to join me for the finale of the game, but I understand that things come up and I just really wanted to finish this because I know there's, there wasn't going to be any other time that the three of us are going to meet up again, so unfortunately that's the thing. Um, overall, I did enjoy playing this game again. Like I said, it is one of my favorite games. I do, I do enjoy it. I mean, there are obviously some frustrating parts, but um, I'm not going to say that I hate this game, because I don't. I, I like it a lot. Um, it's not... I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm going to you know, partially close with what I started with. It's not what I consider a good game. It has not aged well at all, but I love it to death. And um, it's, again, not... I, I wouldn't expect myself to pretty, you know, like it as much as I do. I, I don't have the same nostalgia that a lot of other people do for this. I didn't have a Dreamcast when I was younger. I, I got this on the Xbox 360 after watching somebody else play the GameCube version. Um, and, you know, more sane men would have looked at the, uh, would have probably watched that Let's Play and been like, oh, good, good thing I've never touched that. But, uh, no, I decided to give the go myself, and I never regretted it. There are a lot of other better games that, even on the Dreamcast, later on, like Sonic Adventure 2, uh, which I think actually has aged a lot better. Um, it has a much better story that's actually told well. The pacing is a lot better. Um, the cutscenes don't seem intrusive. Um, and, you know, I know that it's the thing that started Shadow the Hedgehog, but, you know, as we'll see, because gonna, I am going to be playing this... Um, I'm going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2 sometime in the future. But I know, just to, for a bit of spoilers, because I don't care. Um, Shadow's story is actually handled pretty well. He does start off as the annoying, super brooding um, emo guy. And then eventually he gets to a point where he becomes an actual likable character. He actually has character development that turns him into a, a, a bona fide hero. It's just ruined by later games um, that decide, oh, let's bring him back, because six bassists, um, because, you know, he dies, or whatever. I mean, everyone's played Sonic Adventure 2, but yeah, he dies at the end, and then it's like, oh, well, we'll bring him back from Sonic Heroes because he was such a popular character, and then they just, like, erased any character development that he had and turned him back into, a, a, like, the annoying thing that he's been ever since. So, like, Sonic Adventure 2 was, like, the only game to do Shadow as a character correctly. Uh, and, um, yeah. Sonic isn't really a thing that... I mean, it's not any... It's not one of my favorites. Uh, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite series. Uh, it's just a, uh, a series that I like some games in. I, I'm not... I don't, I don't know if I would consider myself a fan, quote-unquote. I mean, I'm obviously more of a fan than some Sonic fans nowadays. Obvious Sonic fan joke here, um, but there aren't going to be a lot of Sonic games that I'll be playing in the future on this channel. Probably just um, Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Generations are ones that, ones that I'm, I obviously really do want to do. Um, I do have Sonic Colors and Sonic Lost World to play through as part of my backlog. Um, I mean, I have seen a. I, I, I know I said before that you know. Sonic Colors is a good game, but I, I, I have seen a, a, a playthrough of that, so I am under the impression that's a good game. Um, but um, I may play those, because I'm, I'm thinking of playing some backlog games on my channel just to, you know, help along with the backlog, so I may play those on here. I'm really not sure if I will or not, but uh, definitely Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic um, Generations are in the future for the channel. But in the meantime, um, as we go on here, we're... I'm, going to be figuring out what I'm going to be doing with Jordan, because we are going to be doing some, you know, Patrick and Jordan Let's Plays, and um, Greg and I are going to be continuing on with Final Fantasy Adventure and The Sopranos Road to Respect. But, um, so look forward to that. Uh, but uh, until then, this has been Squeeze the World Presents Sonic Adventure. If I can just get, let's just skip to the title screen here, just to, yeah. This has been Squeeze the World Gaming presents Sonic Adventure. And for Soylent Greg and Dunamis Dios, I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?